as well as common problems and various solutions. We hope you find this video not only entertaining, but also enjoyable and helpful. Hello, good morning. Good How are you? Okay, just go ahead and take a seat, and the nurse practitioner will be in just a few minutes to take care of you, okay? Okay, thank you. How are you guys? Hello. My name is Jawad. I'm the ARMP. How are you doing? Hello, nice, nice to meet you. you. Jawad, what does ARMP stand for? Advanced Registered Nurse Practitioner. Oh, that's what nice. Can I have you what can I help you with today? Well, Jawad, you see, my honey and I, we recently met, we recently started dating, and uh, we met at Bingo. We both yelled out Bingo at the same time. And ever since then, we've been in love. So, since we recently started dating, uh, we're, we're getting to know each other in the bedroom and we're having some some problems, so we want help. What kind of problems are you having? Well, for instance, you see, I've been uh, experiencing some some dryness, you know, yeah, some, some dryness um, in that area. And also my sweetie here has been having some some problems. Well, maintaining as, and enduring. I understand. As you age, vaginal dryness and thinning is actually normal for women. And um, as men age, erectile dysfunction can be a problem and you need more stimulation to get to the climax. And you both might have a difficult time getting to the climax. And that's 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 really normal. That's normal changes for that. Are you been doing have you been doing anything for your dryness or have you been taking anything? Actually, yes, we've been uh, we've been using Vaseline, mm -hmm. and that helps. That tends to help sometimes. Well, Vaseline is uh, oil based. I would recommend taking something more water soluble based, like KY jelly. They have it over the counter. You can buy it in CVS and other places. Okay, okay. Oh and also for vaginal dryness and thinning, they also have pills like uh, estrogen pills mm -hmm. or estrogen rings. They have they can help with the dryness. What about my problems, Dad? What, what can I do for my problems? Well, for erectile dysfunction, they have they have pills for that. They have Cialis, Viagra, and the Vitro. Those are three common pills. And uh, are you, do you have any hypertension problems? Any blood pressure problems? No, no. Any heart problems? Not at all. Not, no medication, nothing. They can they can elevate or they can uh, mess with your blood pressure a little bit. So what I can do is uh, I'll prescribe you now. If you don't have any problems, I'll look at your history and I'll prescribe it to you, and you can try it out. How it is? Um, you know what? I will give it a shot. Oh. Other than that, how is your relationship? Well, I, I must say that I'm very happy with my honey. You know, he takes me out on walks, and uh, and our relationship, I can say, is great. We cuddle and we we we, we have touch time together. We go to the park and we see movies together. Oh, we love going to the movies. And we love getting our senior breakfast as well. So. That's very sweet. That's really good because the thing is, as couples get older, they exclude themselves from the environment and the social setting. So that's really good. You guys keep going doing all the social activities that you've been doing in the past. You keep doing that up. That's really good for your well-being. Well, thank you so much, doctor. You've been no extremely problem. helpful. Yes, thank you so we'll much. We'll give it a shot today. and we'll see how it goes. Today. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? My name is Christina, and I'm the advanced registered nurse practitioner. How can I help you? Today? Well, I've been lately. I've been having a lot of pain when I urinate, mm -hmm. and I've been feeling really, really tired. Are you having any penile discharge? I, I wasn't at the beginning, but now I am, yeah. and it's really starting to worry me. Right. And are you currently sexually active? 
Yes, I am currently dating around. Okay. And um, since you are sexually active, are you using any form of protection? Maybe. But you do have to worry about contracting a sexually transmitted disease. I, I can have an infection? Yeah, actually many people think it's for the younger population, but the older, the elderly are actually more at risk for contracting. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How nice to you? see you again. You too. I wanted to let you know that your test results did come back positive for gonorrhea. Oh my god. I thought those, I can't believe I have a disease like that. I thought it was just for younger folks. I'm, oh my god. Well, no, but you know what? The good news is that gonorrhea is a bacterial infection, so we can treat it with antibiotics. However, you are going to need to let your sexual partners know so that they can get treated as well. Okay. It, uh, I'm just so worried. I understand, but with your medication, um, everything should get back to normal quickly. And uh, what I do want to recommend to you is that on Tuesday afternoon, we're going to be having a class on how to properly put on a condom, and I think it would be great for you to attend that. I, I will, you know, I will get in contact with my sexual partners, and I'll make sure I go to the class. Perfect. So we can register you outside. Thank you. Erectile dysfunction is the most prevalent sexual problem in men. Older men require more physical penile stimulation and a longer time to achieve erection. The duration of orgasm may be shorter and less intense. Female sexual dysfunction can be influenced by factors such as culture, ethnicity, emotional state, age, and previous sexual experiences, as well as age-related changes in sexual response. Dyspareunia or painful intercourse resulting from vaginal dryness and thinning of the vaginal tissue occurs in one-third of women older than age 65. Women may experience arousal disorders just like men that could be a result of using certain drugs such as anticholinergics, antidepressants, and chemotherapeutic agents. Women may also experience orgasmic disorders just like men.